Okay guys, today is a different video than usual. Today I'm going to be talking about how to build a fan controller for your automation system. So here it goes. This is a fan. Um, it's just kind of been slightly assembled as you can see. It has the, the wings on which is where the blades, this is where the blades are going to mount on. It has, this is the, this is the, where your light's going to go in, there's a light fixture that comes onto this. And here's the, obviously the motor and can rotate. So let's just go through a few things on the fan first. On the back of the fan, you'll have a housing, and you'll have all these all these wires. Okay, so let's have a look at the wires. You're gonna have a blue one, which is this one, the blue one, and uh, as you can see, it says it's labeled neutral. the The green one is labeled earth, and the red one is labeled light. And the brown one is labeled fan. So the problem with this setup is that there's only got two wires. So if you had to run this into a relay or something, you'd only be able to turn the fan on and off and the light on and off. You wouldn't be able to set the fan speed. So in my house, I want to be able to set the fan speed from the computer systems because during the night, I actually like to have my fans change fan speed to go from a, you know, a, a higher fan speed to a lower fan speed once I've fallen asleep. Um, that way I save energy and also it reduces the noise. So, what I'm going to actually do is, in a fan, in a fan, most of your, um, your the, the controls are actually in here, in this little round circle, is where all the controls sit. Um, and by controls, I mean, this is actually where all the motor wires run, and then you've got your, your, your fan pull chain, which is here, and you'd pull, boom, 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 go through the, the, the you know, the fan. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to undo these screws, which are around here, and I'm actually going to take off this entire fan head. And um, I'm going to also take, I have to take the light off and all of that. And once I've taken that off, I'll be able to um, get to the actual motor wires. So, let's do that. Okay, so now that we've managed to pull all the wiring out, you can pretty much see all that's in there. There's a switch, which is this simple switch, which is up and down switch. Um, I want to leave that in the down position, otherwise that could be problematic. Um, yeah, just remember the position that's in, which in this case is... Uh, ha ha ha. Well, it's an orange-gray. Orange-gray. And this is the pull chain for the fan, as you can see over there. Cool. But now, as you can see, there's a lot more wires in here, okay? There's a lot of wires in here. We've got a whole bunch of wires. We've got, you know, this is, okay, this, we can kind of see, this is the red wire that comes out the top, because it's going into the switch and it's going straight into the light, which is um, right over here. So, yeah, you, that like that you can kind of figure out. But with the fan one, you'll see it's slightly different. You've got one brown coming in over here, and... Uh, then you've got a white coming out, you've got a, an orange coming out, and you've got a purple coming out. So, it gets rather interesting. So what we need to do is, we need to take this, um, 
this fan apart essentially. We need to disconnect this because what we're going to do is instead of using this uh, rotary switch, we're going to use this relay board to um, control that. So let's start actually moving on to building the control unit. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take all these wires in here and I'm going to pull them through the fan because the fan's got this this tube as you can see it's got this tube so I need to pull all those wires up the tube and for the wires that are too short I've got heat shrink tubing and extra cable so that I'm going to redo them so I can have all the wires coming out the top so I'm going to do that now if we look at quickly you need to build a box like this now let's just pull focus quick for you guys there we go the box is in focus yep so this is the box as you can see it's got a hole on the bottom and it's got well sorry it's got a hole on the bottom and it's got a hole on the left and the right and what, what happens is once you've drilled all those holes out you put the grommets in and your box will look like that top or bottom and then side side and then what you do is you take your relay board which is this little guy and this actually sits inside there now you have your control signals coming in through there and connecting up to those pins over there and you're going to have your power coming in here and going out into the fan. So this box will sit in the roof directly above the fan or if it's a, you know if you don't have space next to the fan or whatever. But yeah, in the roof. And uh, here we're going to have lots of cables connecting up to all four of those relays. So we're going to have one relay for the lights, one relay for the fan speed 1, 2 and 3. So that's how this whole fan's going to work. Cool, so let's uh, let's get to building that. Um, I'm gonna come back with uh, the fan done and extended. Hey guys, so if you can look at this now, you'll see what I've done is the light itself, okay? If we look at the back of the light, you'll see now that there is three cables coming from the back of the light. There is the neutral, which is now the blue. There is the red, which is the light on. And then the black, which is the which is the manual override, which is with the pull. So you you pull pull this, and you'll be able to turn the light on. Okay. So now coming out of the light, you can see if you look at the end here, you can see that there's a red, a blue, and a. Let me just focus this quickly. There we go. There's a red, a blue, a brown, and a, and a ground. Okay. So the ground gets attached to the ground screw, which is over there. The brown is always on power. The the red is I mean the blue is always uh, neutral, and the red is the relay on and off of the light. So what I've done here is essentially included a bypass switch so that if uh, the automation system were to ever fail or something like that, I could always manually just turn the light on, which is just a simple pull. Um, and yeah, and the computer can't turn it off once. So this is just a simple manual bypass pull on pull off. Um, yeah, if the computer however gets stuck on, you can't, this won't be bypassing it, this will just be turning the light on. So, as you can see, there's a lot less wires in here, there's literally four wires in here. And at the other end of the, of the motor, you can see that I've got a lot more wires coming out of here. I've got those, those uh, four wires there, the earth, you know, the brown, blue, red, earth. And on, from the motor side, I've got red, white, uh, brown, and gray. And um, white is the neutral, and these are the three different speeds. So what I'm gonna do is, this will be attached to this box. So essentially, these cables will all be connected up to those relays, these uh, these three over here. I mean, these, yeah, these four, sorry, connected up to those four relays. However, these actually run through um, this piece of equipment, which is basically just the directional switch, which I'm going to leave in play. So I'm going to leave that so we can still use it. And uh, a capacitor. This is just a, yeah, just a capacitor. So yeah, we need to connect this up to here. Fortunately, we know which cables goes where because we have, see when we cut it, when we cut all the cabling, we, we checked this. So now we know where all the cables go. It's very important that you do that. Also, um, to get the get these cables from the bottom up to the top is a mission, so that is very, very hard. I used a solid steel 
like uh, well wire, solid steel wire, and I just stuck it all the way down. Put it, uh, pulled all these wires out first because these are easy to pull out. These come out easy. Pulled them all out. Um, stuck a wire down, and then basically just tug, 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 tug up and down, up and down, up and down, um, with like a a, a U that ba a U. I basically made a U like that, and so then this cable ended up in between that U, and I just pulled it, tug, 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 and it came out. But you have to yeah, up and down, up and down. It's a real, really hard mission to do that. So now it's time to basically put the fan together. Um, I'm going to now solder extensions on this. Okay, so I'm back. As you can see, I've uh, heat shrunk and extended these cables. And here's the other four cables which go to the front. I've also uh, closed up this part. And uh, you can now clearly pull the chain to turn the light on. All that's all wired up. You can kind of see through there. If you want to, you, can put, you should put a piece of plastic there maybe. And you, because you still have those two screws, you could take, you could cut up like an ice cream container lid or anything like that, and uh, you could just screw it through. Um, the same with that hole. That hole is going to be there. I'm, um, I'm fine with it. I don't really need. I don't really need it to look that well. You won't really see it with the with the lampshade over here. You won't see these things. Um, so yeah, still have the uh, one in for the light. As you can see, it still says light there. Um, and the reason for that is so. Uh, that I can um, pull that in case of emergency. So now it's basically time to put everything back together. So yeah, the fan is fully assembled. It, we've uh, put it back and I've tested everything and it all works. So it looks like that. And uh, I'll, and I'll go to the Mac and I'll show you how the uh, web interface works that uh, controls it. So this is the uh, web interface for controlling the fan. Here you can see you can turn the light on and off. Uh, you can uh, control the fan speed by choosing one, two, or three, and you can turn it off. Um, so yeah, that's that's it. Um, I'm going to be making another video on uh, how how the whole software side of things works, how pushing this on button actually turns the light on, um, and when you push it off, it turns it off. I want to do a whole video on that. Um, so yeah, please. Uh, subscribe because uh, I'm going to be continuing to make lots more of these videos uh, comment with any tips or if you think I need to improve something or you know if you've got a question just comment below um, also yeah just tell me if uh, you know you give me any suggestions on how to improve my videos especially these types of uh, like how-to videos um, yeah please uh, thumbs up thumbs down if you will thumbs it up if you liked it thumbs down if you didn't and um, yeah thanks very much for watching Cheers, bye.